guys, Karibuni Tena to yet another amazing episode here at Kaluhi's Kitchen. For today, I want us to take a classic breakfast brunch recipe that is French toast and elevate it in the typical Kaluhi fashion and make it unforgettable, luxurious, delicious. Mm. <laughs> So for today, I want to add some booziness with a bit of rum, incorporate four of my warm spices and just make this classic recipe into something you're never ever going to forget. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for subscribing as well. That said, let's get started. Karibuni. Our dish is here, our ingredients are laid out and we are ready, set to begin. First thing I want to add onto my dish is some mala instead of milk. I know you're asking, Ay, Kaluhi, mbono no tumia mala na si maziwa? And let me tell you why. Mala inherently has a higher fat content in comparison to milk. It's a lot more thicker as well and that means anything you use it in and anything you cook it with will end up being a lot more richer and a lot more softer. Be it French toast, be it banana bread, be it pancakes, that component of mala will impact into whatever dish you're cooking it with, making it richer and softer. That exact element will be a plus for our French toast, so it has to be part of this. To my non-Kenyan watchers, mala is fermented milk, the Middle Eastern equivalent is kefir, and the Southern African equivalent is amasi. However, you can use plain yogurt, which I know is available throughout the globe, and if you're in North America, buttermilk would be absolutely perfect. Even um, using cream for this recipe in place of mala would yield the exact same result. So let's grab this baby and pour it in. Sour, sour. And then we're going to follow this by our cracked eggs. And then our vanilla extract. Our vanilla extract is in, our eggs are in, our mala is in, and now we're going to go to the other ingredients that will elevate this from normal and mm, kind of boring to nice and extraordinary, and that is my dark rum. Keep in mind, I've said dark rum. Si jasema whiskey, si jasema vodka, si jasema I don't know what, dark rum. For the flavor component of this dish, dark rum really complements everything I'm putting together. So make sure you buy that exact alcoholic beverage. In place of dark rum, a cream liqueur like Bailey's or Amarula would also work extraordinarily well. So if you don't want to use rum, please go for a cream liqueur. And I know someone is going to ask me, I miss Kunyangi Pombe or I want to make this for my kiddies and I don't want to use alcohol. Can I remove alcohol? The answer is yes, but, and I'm saying a big but, it will change the recipe. Once you remove a main ingredient, that changes the entire flavor profile of any recipe. So yes, you can remove the rum, or yes, you can choose not to use a cream liqueur, but keep in mind you'll, ma you'll be making something entirely different. But please guys, I highly recommend that you use this recipe exactly as is. If you prefer not to use alcohol, I'm going to link down below other French toast recipes that do not have any alcoholic elements. But if you want to cook this recipe, please, water bileco, use some dark rum. Let's add this baby in. <laughs> Dark rum is aged together with molasses and burnt sugar. That's why it has its, its characteristic dark color. And because of that exact property, we're going to use brown sugar for this recipe. Brown sugar will tie in together with the elements of the dark rum, which I really, really love. And because of its sticky brown nature, it will also impart a nice deep dark brown color to our French toast. Next, we're going to add our spices and first in is our nutmeg, then cinnamon, my iliki, and then some ginger spice. A dash of salt and then we're going to whisk this until completely smooth and combined. Everything is now perfectly combined. 
and when you're done whisking it should not have any streaks or lumps to it it should be nice uniform nice and silky nice and light as well and that's how you'll know that you're done i'm really excited about this recipe and you guys you know what it smelled so boom baby and i'm so excited about this one <laughs> Now that we are done with combining all the ingredients and walking you through the why and why not about why we're using what we're using, now we're going to go into the cooking. And as you know, it just involves taking your bread, dipping it into the mixture and pan frying it. The best bread for our French toast is brioche, but that is bloody expensive. So we just went for ordinary sliced wholemeal bread. If you prefer white bread, Feel free, it will be a hundred percent okay. Mimi nim to our brown bread, so that's what I'm going to use. That said, guys, let's finish this up and prepare to have the bombest breakfast ever. <laughs> And just like that, guys, we are done with yet another amazing meal here at Kalufi's Kitchen. I know I say this time and time again, but allow me to just repeat, making beautiful and delicious food is not something impossible. I've shown you time and time again, and today, Mumejone Atena, it's not difficult, it's not impossible. This smells amazing, so let's go in for a taste test. Mmm! <laughs> A hundred percent perfect. Mm. Yes, baby. Mm. Exactly what I was going for. You can really appreciate the warmth of the cinnamon, of the nutmeg, of the ginger. You can taste the boisterousness of the brown sugar. And most of all, you can taste the full bodied flavor that the rum has added to what would otherwise be something very ordinary and very boring. This 100% is not ordinary, neither is it boring. I hope you try this out. <laughs> Don't forget the exact recipe quantities are on my blog link on my description box. Try this out, snap a piece, tag me on any social media platform, I would love to show you off. For me, it's now time to go have my breakfast. I'm so excited to chow this down. And for you, do enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys. <laughs>